In this video, we're going to have a look at a coupon that applies a discount based on the total in the cart. So here we have, for example, the value of $18. If I was to add another item to my cart and push that up, you'll see that a discount is automatically applied. If I was to reduce the number of, of items, thereby reducing the total, you'll see that the coupon volume discount is invalid and has been removed from your order. So let's just apply that again. So there we have the volume discount and it's applied at $7.20. So how does this, this work? I've installed a plugin here called Auto Coupons for WooCommerce and if we have a look at the details you'll see this is what it looks like. So we're looking for Auto Coupons for WooCommerce and we are looking for the author Richard Lemmer Design and Development. It's a very simple coupon that works really well. So if we go over to the coupon page, you'll see that I have a coupon here called Volume Discount. And if I scroll down, you'll see that we've set it as a percentage discount of 20%. And I've applied the Auto Apply tick box. And that simply means that the setting would apply the coupon to all qualifying carts on the cart and checkout page. Now, at the moment, you'll see that when the coupon is applied, it applies it as coupon volume discount. If this was part of a promotion, maybe what I will do then is remove that. Let's add a new line. So let's call it a promo and update. And now you'll see that the line item changes from coupon to promo. So there we have the promo volume discount. What you can also do now is apply the standard restrictions. So under usage restriction, we can set the minimum spend. So you'll notice that with one item, there was no coupon with the two. We met the minimum spend and it did apply the coupon. Another um, something else that you could do is you, you could then also apply these restrictions to a specific product. Or we can have a look at product categories, allowed emails and also a brand's restriction. Now, in our case, we are looking to exclude the belt with, with a super long description. So I'm going to head over here. And what I'm going to do now is you can see that the discount value here is $7.20. So I'm going to head over to the shop and I'm going to add that item that we want to exclude from the discount, which is this belt. I'm going to add that to the cart. We'll head back to the cart. And now you'll see that that discount has only been applied to the $36. So you'll see that the promo volume discount has remained at $7.20 and that item was excluded. So that's how easy it would be to apply to your checkout. The only thing to, to watch is that the same discount doesn't get applied when you apply the fixed cart discount. So here I've assigned a $20 discount which is fixed. Now when I head over to my cart, you'll see that the discount is not applied. In fact, no discount is applied and the coupon volume discount is invalid and has been removed from your order. If I was to remove the belt from my basket, you'll then see that the coupon value is then applied. The discount is applied then to uh, the items in the basket. So it doesn't apply the fixed amount, the fixed coupon amount, if you're excluding a product. So important to remember if you want to exclude a product, then move over to a percentage discount. And let's update that. Now, if I head back to the shop and I add that item, I'm going to add the belt again and I view the cart you'll see that the discount now has only been applied to the value for the beanies so still quite useful in applying in applying a discount to the cart for a blanket set value so that's how the coupon then could quite easily be applied um, at the checkout the other option that you have when applying the coupon using the plugin is to apply it to a specific URL. So if I was to change that 
and just click on OK. So now we're going to be updating the settings and now we want to apply the coupon via the URL. Now the only uh, thing that you must remember here that if usage restrictions are present the product must be in the cart when the URL is visited. So the usage restrictions are the items on this tab here. So if you have set a minimum amount, the items must be in a cart before visiting the URL. So that can be a bit tricky. So if it if there was no usage restriction, okay, so we don't set the minimum value and we've excluded that product. So now what happens is I uh, just copy the suffix here. So let's say that you were going to apply this coupon amount but people had to visit a specific URL so maybe it's part of a promotion and you want them to visit a page before going shopping then we would add that to the URL now you'll see that this volume discount here is the same as my coupon name so if I change that name then that portion of the URL will also change so not great to have a space in your URL so let's change that and what I'm going to do now is change that volume discount to one word and that'll just make sense for our URL. Now what we'll do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to head over to our cart and we're just going to refresh that to show that there's no discount applied because we haven't visited the URL in order to activate the discount. Now what I'm going to do is head over to a different page and this might have been our promotional page. So we've sent the, the user a link. And at the end of the link, we just included that URL. So now by visiting that URL, the discount has been applied. Now what I do is head back to the cart. And now when we visit the cart, you'll see that the discount has been applied. So there we have the discount applied. And that was simply by visiting the URL that was relevant and the items that shouldn't be included aren't included. So if you are going to do a promotion, simply append the URL with that value in your email. When the user clicks on that email, visits that page, they then qualify for the discount. But if they don't click on that link, they, don't, they then don't qualify for the discount. So that's how uh, easy it is then to apply a discount to the checkout quantity on your website. You can make that available to people who visit a specific URL first and then head over to the checkout. Or you can simply say apply the discount to the items in the basket and then base the restrictions then on the normal, normal usage restrictions in WooCommerce. So to do that you would just say auto apply and now the values are applied to all the items in the basket and you didn't have to visit a specific URL. So you have the choice as to how you want to apply this in your promotion. So I hope you found that useful. I hope you can find a use for the plugin. Thank you for watching.